sorry. Hi. <laughs> I'm Sarah. I'm doing a interview for Liberty University um, about servant leadership. Um, I chose this lovely woman here, Mary, uh, because she has been a charge nurse for my department in diagnostic imaging for 10 years, as well as a charge nurse in multiple modalities over, what, a 35, 40 43 year, years? 43 year, wow, uh, career. <laughs> So she's got a lot of knowledge um, and um, so I'm just going to give you the opportunity to just kind of discuss a little bit about who you are. Um, I'll ask you, um, the first question is what, what is your de definition of a servant leader? Hmm, a servant leader, that would be somebody I guess who considers the people that she works with as well as you know, tries to organize the flow in the department. Right. Yeah, that is exactly right. That is what a servant leader does. Um, they consider their staff members, they collaborate, and they try to work right. together. Right. Um, and that is exactly how she is. <laughs> um, so what is what are your personal leadership strengths? Well, I found that over the years some um, charge nurses were very difficult to approach or, you know, it was hard. So I made sure that I was approachable, that I would be kind to the people I work with, that I appreciate the things that they would bring to me and, and be respectful of their opinions and perhaps even learn from them because a lot of them come from different departments. So now do you, do you allow your staff members to meet their full potential? And if so, how do you accomplish this goal? to meet their full potential. Well, most of the nurses in our in um, our department are, you know, they have already have critical experience. They've already had experience in the hospital as nurses. So um, I appreciate that and I let them, you know, if, if I let them do exactly, you know, how to do, if they have any questions, I'm there to help them. As far as diagnostic imaging, perhaps a procedure that they might have question about. Right. But most of the time, the nurses are can do most of the work themselves, pretty much. So I'm they're just all there. professionals, right. and, Very professional. and you respect everybody and, and work with them. Right. And, um, and I think that's a really great approach, and that is definitely who you are and how you are. Um, now I think like uh, one thing I have to say I notice about you is you do you provide a lot of positive feedback you're always complimenting people and I feel like oh that's yeah I think that is the most that's important, really important that is very um, important with your staff you know it, it feels good to feel to know that that when you do something good it's recognized right and exactly and you know I think when you're a leader um, a lot of a lot of negative things coming your way without any positive me to, to the staff members makes them feel animosity right and resentful resentful like oh i did good today but what about but they don't notice it they don't, they don't notice it and it's, well and i know myself as a staff nurse i would always appreciate it when somebody was you know kind mm -hmm. and considerate and really you know encouraged me as a young nurse to mm -hmm. you know meet my potential yeah so. Well, good. I'm glad that you're like that, and I, I really do respect you. Um, so, I guess my last question for you would be, would you describe yourself as a servant leader? And if yes, can you give an example of your ability to display this trait? Um, yeah, I would. I would consider myself very diplomatic, that I would never leave my nurses, the nurses that I was working with behind. I would always be there to answer any questions that they might need. And I was always open for ideas. Because, you know, um, an example is uh, one of the nurses who came into our department um, was thought, wow, look at this, we're still using pencil schedules. So she told me about an online scheduling that they were doing up on the other floors. So I then took the uh, initiative, went up, got all the information I needed. Mm -hmm. um, there were some nurses in our department that weren't willing to change, just like the pencil schedule right. thing. We're always finding um, that. We're always finding it's, so you know, and but yet I'm very things. adaptable, I'm mm -hmm. willing to hear ideas, and if it benefits all the nurses 
then I will go out and do something. Right. So I did initiate, I went up, I got the schedule, I, I, I asked the nurses if it was okay for us to at least trial it. Right. So by trialing it, you're allowing them, you know, to, to, to get a little bit of a feel. Right. And so once right. they saw how, you know, efficient, it was so easy to get to, blah, right. blah, blah, they all came around and it became, and it became a, a practice, practice in, our, in, in our department. Exactly. Yeah. So by saying, well, let's just trial it. Exactly. You, you I gave, gave them, them a, the opportunity to, you to collaborate. I collaborated. Yeah, and, and I, I gave them the opportunity to say, well, wait a minute, it's not working. For right, us. right. Um, I mean, and so that made them more, you eased them, ease them into, into the, idea um, of the idea of change. And if it hadn't worked, then I was willing to let it go. But, right. you know. I always like to at least trial yeah. something, and I think that's great. And that's what makes you a great leader, right. is that you know you're you're showing. Okay, listen, I understand that you have concerns, but you know, feel me out and see if this works for you. And 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 that's exactly what you did, being a team player. Right. Um, and I tried to you know see if how everybody would feel. It is hard for change. People don't like to change, mm -hmm. but if yeah. you ease it. Ease it in. Yeah. Work. Well, I find that you. What was it? You get more bees with honey. Oh, and absolutely. That that phrase really is important to me because I do feel like, you know, I could meet a person who seems very angry, and by the end of the conversation, have them happy and smiling. Yeah. And the reason is, you know, you you are kind and respectful, and you keep them engaged and it makes them feel better right and it's the same with your it's the same with patients as it is with the people that you work with absolutely so and also um teamwork mm -hmm. you have to be a team player if you mm -hmm. even if you're in charge you need to be a team player right you need to be out there you need to be showing them that you're willing to do you know exactly what yes. they're doing you jump it's in better. you jump she in jumps in help out helps out yes and um they appreciate that yeah you know, it's not just sitting on the sidelines side and, and, and telling point, right. people where to go. Right. You're actually showing that you care. So yes. I do appreciate that and I appreciate you and I thank you very much. And Liberty University, I thank you very much for the opportunity to, to have this interview. Um, it's been a great project and I hope to see you again. Thank you.